I am cooking one of my favourite recipes today, and it's my lamb cutlets with a macadamia dukkha and a paleo tzatziki. Now, what I love about this recipe is all of the ingredients are really accessible to find anywhere. Plus, it's a crowd pleaser that's going to keep the whole family. Three simple elements put together on the plate with an abundance of flavour and health. Because I'm here to show you that healthy can be made easy. And Luke, good to hang out with you. We actually get to spend some time in the kitchen. I know, that's exactly right. And I might be able to put you through your paces and teach you a few things, but I hear you're not a bad cook already. I, I love cooking, but actually I think you can probably give me some tips because I like to cook with things like cream and butter. All right. But I'm seeing here we've got healthy made easy, so I'm thinking this could be a good thing for me. That's exactly right. So healthy made easy, guys, is all about proving that anyone who might have a food intolerance or is simply looking to kind of clean up their act a bit yep. can cook food that, that is, is also delicious. So it's funny that you mentioned dairy and butter and yep. cream because today we're making a paleo tzatziki. Now, oh. this tzatziki is actually using an avocado as the base yep. instead of a yoghurt. Oh, cool. So we're bringing out that creaminess that an avocado brings, but we're making it dairy free for people who might have a food intolerance. So you've already broken it down for me because you go, Zatziki, I go, that's scary, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> but you've already said it's based with avocado, which is great. What do we start with, though? All right, let's get some heat on here. So what we're going to do, often when we're cooking, we add oil to the pan. Yep. But when we want to dry roast things, what we do is we, we want to leave that pan nice and dry. Sure. So I've chopped up some macadamia nuts. So what are these making? So, so, so the this macadamia is for the dukkha. The dukkha, this right. This is for the dukkha. So we've got lamb cutlets. Yep. We're going to coat them in a dukkha yep. and then fry them off. Great. And we're going to serve that with a generous dollop cool. of tzatziki. Is this like when you do, say, pine nuts, for example, you really got to keep an eye on what's in the pan? Or is it, uh, macadamia is a little more forgiving? Let's just say you don't want to wake up in the morning and burn your nuts. Okay. Good. <laughs> all right, that's all I can say about this. So what I'm going to get you to do is uh, Mike's a bit of an expert, so I'm not sure how you're okay. going to go, but we'll I want you to stir your nuts this that's morning. I will stir with, my nuts. With the wooden spoon. Yep, that's good. perfect. Now, whilst you do that, I'm going to get the other elements for the macadamia dukkha ready sure. to rock and roll. So what we've got here, now a lot of people, when they buy spices, they buy them pre-ground. Yep. Today, we're actually going to use them whole and we're going to grind them ourselves in this mortar and pestle. Now, this is a real classic, old school way of blitzing ingredients by yep. hand rather right. than using a food processor. So we basically ground those up and then I'm guessing they're, they're fresher than what we would buy uh -huh. if we were buying them in a box. And when you're using your hand to grind them up, we're getting all this beautiful warmth and flavour coming out. So I've just put some cumin seeds in there. Right. We've got some coriander seeds and we also want to get some sesame seeds in there. Now this is when you get your wrist into it, you get down in here and you give it a bit of a grind. So just circular motions? That's exactly right, circular motions. Get your body into it. So I'm all about healthy living, which yeah. means in the kitchen, a little bit of a workout. You can't go wrong with that. I'm not getting much of a workout stirring my nuts, but I'm sure I'll get there. But, but your nuts aren't burning, and that's the key. No, that is good. How will I know when these are ready, actually? All What's right, the, so what, what am we're I looking, looking for? for is a beautiful golden brown colour. Yep. But also, without looking, you can actually tell by the aroma that sure. roasted, toasted nuts kind of give off. Now, if you don't want to dry roast them in a pan, you can actually do them in the oven. You can chuck your nuts in the oven and you're absolutely good to go. This is new, I've not tried that before. That's exactly right. So I'm going to continue grinding that down. And when I've completely worked that through, yep. we're going to add that to the macadamia mixture. But in the meantime, right. I want to quickly show you some of the elements for the paleo tzatziki. Sure. So we all know that cucumber is a key part of the tzatziki. Yeah, absolutely. And that adds a really delicious freshness to it. So basically, you only need about half there. You could use a small Lebanese cucumber, or you can use half to a quarter of a continental cucumber. With right. cooking, don't feel restricted by a recipe. Sure. So it might say continental, mix it up, do what works for you. So I'm going to get on with this. I'm going to mix the avocado in. We're going to prepare the lamb. And I'll tell you what, when we come back, we're going to be frying up some delicious goodness, which you won't be able to resist, I hope. I cannot wait. And these are starting to smell really good. So where are we up to, Luke? All right, so we are so close to completing this paleo tzatziki. We've got the avocado. We've mushed that up together with some extra virgin olive oil. Yep garlic and salt, the now keys just, to flavour. Normally we'd be using yoghurt, right? But yep. this is obviously healthy made easy, so uh -huh. we are using the avocado. That is exactly right. Now, no tzatziki would be complete without some beautiful mint through it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pick some mint leaves off here and we're going to slowly run our knife across them like so, getting a nice fine slice 
through there. Now this is really important because I've known people who have absolutely pulverised their mint and then don't like the flavour or the smell that they end up with. That's exactly so you're just right. going fine right with the knife over there. Yeah, very fine. I think with fresh herbs, guys, you have to be really gentle with them. You'll find with basil, you can actually bruise it if yeah. you go too hard and it gets kind of this brown discoloration. So I want you to have a little bit of a smell of that. The last thing to go in there is some dill. Oh I'll get you to stir goodness. that in together. It smells amazing. Now, we're going to crack some heat on here. We've ground our nuts, we've toasted our nuts, and now it's time to coat the lamb with some nuts. So, so coconut oil in there, right? Coconut oil yep. in there to fry with. Now, into our dukkha mixture, we are going to add some chilli flakes, Great. just like so, and we're also going to add some dried flat leaf parsley. Honestly, you wouldn't believe all the smells I'm getting here. This is just <laughs> incredible. Sorry, I should have showered before coming in. <laughs> My bad. No, they're good smells, I promise you. <laughs> so, this is the exciting part. Yep. We get our lamb, and New Zealand is renowned for such delicious lamb, so Indeed. I feel privileged to be here. And you press your lamb cutlet in there, Get a nice coating of the dukkha, just like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this in the pan like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue this with a couple more. Look at all the seeds here, the flavor. We've got the macadamia nuts shining through and you can hear that bit of a sizzle we that love we're that getting sizzle. from the pan right now. I remember a time when dukkha was seen as a, as a crazy thing. Who would eat that? What, what is it? And now it's a little bit more normal and you're making it easy and healthy and that's what we love. It's very trendy and I love it because it's simple for people to do. Yeah. You can make a really big batch of it at home. Have it in a jar and you can coat fish with it. You can coat lamb with it. You yeah. can do all sorts of things. I'm actually not too afraid of a beautiful avocado smash on toast with a oh, sprinkle of dukkha. Oh yeah. Tell you what, yeah, that is Sunday delicious. Breakfast for you. And don't you love that food now is not just some grey meat and some boiled veg either. Uh -huh. We can be more creative, we can be healthy while we do it. And it, it looks really good too, it's just one of those things that... I'm wondering though, I'm actually one of those people that's terrible. I try skewers, I try my fingers when it comes to cooking meat. How do you know? What's going to tell me that these are done? How long oh. would you cook these? I always, first and foremost, I love people to become intuitive cooks. Right. And you become an intuitive cook when you get into the kitchen more. But yep. to answer your question, the best thing to do is err on the side of, of caution. So when you're cooking things like seafood or lamb, I'd rather people learn whilst eating it a little overdone sure. rather than underdoing yep. it and potentially not enjoying it. How would you eat a lamb cutlet? What's your preference in terms of pink? Pink? It yeah. should be pink. It shouldn't be scarily bloody, but what it should be is a beautiful blushing pink, which I might blush here in a minute, <laughs> but um, it's a bit of a blushing pink. And um, at the end of the show, I'm going to show you that pink so everyone at home knows how delicious their lamb can be. Because really, when it comes to cooking proteins, the better you cook it, the tastier it is. I cannot wait to try these. It's smelling delicious. So much more. The lamb is looking absolutely lovely, guys. I tell you what, this is perfect for the kids. You just tell them that they're lamb lollipops. They can pick them up and dip them in the tzatziki. Oh, food with its own handle. I like it. <laughs>